वेलकम टू कामेडी ग्लोबल केरला चीफ मिनिस्टर पिनाराय विजयन ऑन ट्यूसडे सेड इफ एम एल एंड फॉर्मर स्टेट मिनिस्टर के टी जलील हेल्थ सेंड एनी लेटर टू द रूलर ऑफ यू ए फॉर गेटिंग माध्यम डेली और रीजनल न्यूज पेपर इन द स्टेट बैन देर द सेम शुड नॉट है बीन डन Vijayan said he has not spoken to Jalil since the conclusion of the assembly session and intends to talk to him on the issue soon. The chief minister said the management of the daily had already met him regarding the issue which came forth in a recent disclosure by Swapna Suresh, a key accused in the gold smuggling through diplomatic bags case in an affidavit filed in the Kerala High Court as part of a plea to quash the FIR lodged against her on a complaint by Jalil. Vijayan said he will speak to Jalil about it and thereafter the further steps would be decided. If such a letter was sent that should not have happened the chief minister said during a media briefing. Earlier in the day leader of opposition in the state assembly VD Sadishan while speaking to reporters had raised the issue by saying that a minister of the previous Vijayan cabinet writing a letter to the ruler of UAE was a breach of protocol and if it was done without the CM's knowledge then the chief minister should inquire about it. The Madhima management said they had pointed out the protocol violation by the minister who had written directly to the UAE council general and the chief minister had positively responded to their complaint. Madhima decided to approach the chief minister after the key accused in the gold smuggling case Swapna Suresh had recently claimed that Jalil had attempted to get the newspaper banned in the UAE. However, Jalil had denied the allegations and said Madhima had created concerns among non-Western Kerala's by publishing photographs of those who died abroad due to COVID-19. Jalil told media that he brought the attention of the Consul General about such a news report which claimed that Kerala's were dying due to lack of treatment in the Gulf region. A state minister writing a letter to the consulate of another country was a protocol violation. Also, his act was a move against the freedom of press. Even the CPI has made it clear that it was not their party stand. Now we have met the chief minister. The CM said he didn't know about the letter and said we'll take necessary action. We are satisfied with this response. O Abdul Rahman, the chief editor of Madhyam, had said in a statement. Jalil, however, had said even the chief minister had on June 26, 2020, strongly criticized the publishing of photographs of those who lost their lives in Gulf countries. He had further said he had sent an email from his personal email ID to the Consul General to know the details of the news report published by Madhyam, which claimed that many Kerala's were dying abroad due to lack of proper treatment. I brought this to the attention of the consul general I have never called for any ban on any media house he said Suresh in affidavit had told the high court that Jalil acted against the interest of India by trying to hoodwink the ruler of UAE into banning Madhyam there for gaining political leverage in his party she had alleged that Jalil while he was a minister in the previous LDF government tried to hoodwink the ruler of UAE by trying to wrongly depict the Malayalam dailies news reports as against the nation he did so by illegally writing a letter to the head of that country without having any authority to do so she had claimed in the high court Swapna Suresh had also alleged that she was forced to go along with the illegality of instructions of the UAE Consul General in Kerala during the media press CM Vijayan also answered questions regarding the appointment of Sriram Venkatraman the IAS officer accused of causing the death of journalist KM Bashir in 2019 in a driving under the influence of alcohol case as the district collector of Alappuzha The appointment which is being opposed by the Congress was part of his service as an IAS officer the chief minister said during various stages of his service he has to be assigned different responsibilities and this was one of them Vijayan said and added that there had been no lapse from the government in taking forward the case against the IAS officer While speaking to the reporters about various other issues the chief minister also blamed the congress and the previous UDF government led by it for the alleged delay in various national highway projects in the state He alleged that due to the laxity on the part of the previous UDF government in acquiring land for the national highway projects the state had to bear the consequences one fourth of the land acquisition cost I'm Neha signing out if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates